If you're in the market for a new juicer, it can be a little confusing. That's because there are four different types of juicers on the market. Hi, it's Dan with eujuicers.com and in this video, I'm gonna to try to simplify things a little bit. I'm gonna show you the four major types of juicers. That's centrifugal juicer, horizontal single auger slow juicer, vertical single auger slow juicer, and twin gear juicer talk about how they work, the pros and cons of each. I won't be doing any testing here, but if you'd like to see, we have a very in-depth video. It runs over an hour where you can see these four types actually in practice with a wide variety of produce. So let's get started with the centrifugal. Centrifugal juicers are kind of the entry level juicer and they're the juicer most commonly found in uh, most grocery stores even and electronic stores. They've been around the longest. Uh, centrifugal juicer, the way it works, it's something like a blender in a way. Unlike the other three juicers, which run very slowly at slow RPM between 40 and 120 RPM, this guy runs anywhere from 5,000 to 15,000 RPM. Now, how it works is the produce goes in to the feeding tube, and once it's in there, it uh, comes across this. This is a screen and also a cutting disc down at the bottom. This is spinning so fast, it's like a jet turbine. The produce comes in, you have to push it, it doesn't self-feed, and these little uh, blades at the bottom just instantly shred it, pulverize it. Those pieces, since it, this is spinning so fast, are flung against this circular stainless steel screen. The force of the pulp being pushed against this screen means the juice gets pushed through the screen while the pulp remains inside. Then depending on the juicer, the pulp is either extracted directly below, that's usually in bigger commercial models, or as in this model here, it is ejected out the back. Now what are the pluses and minuses of centrifugal juicers? Well, the pluses, the first one is they're fast. <laughs> they're called a fast juicer for a reason, not just the motor. Uh, this will produce juice just as fast as you can push that produce in because it's spinning so quickly. It's just almost instantaneous. The other pro, the other advantage of a centrifugal is the price. The, my first juicer was a centrifugal juicer. I bought it in a grocery store for about 75 euros on sale, an impulse purchase. A high quality centrifugal juicer will typically cost at least half the price of a high quality slow juicer. This model here is our most popular model. This is the Vidya CJ001, has stainless steel parts, uh, is made in South Korea, unlike most which are made in China. And this one runs about 150 euros. So the price is good for centrifugals. You can find them as cheap as 50 and man, you can pay all the way up to three or 400 actually. And typically buying a more expensive one might get you a commercial quality or features like variable speed, digital controls, uh, easier to clean screen, things like that. In terms of negatives, there are quite a few actually with centrifugals and that's why slow juicers have become more popular. First of all, because it's running so fast, it's very loud. Centrifugals are really noisy. You can't have someone in the same room on a phone call or trying to watch a TV show. It's just not gonna work. Uh, another disadvantage is they're a little more difficult to clean. That's because in all juicers, the most difficult part to clean is the screen, this part here, and centrifugals have one of the biggest screens and you have to go over this with a brush, otherwise they can get clogged up with things like carrots and things like that, and that will reduce the efficiency or even cause it to back up. Another disadvantage is uh, flexibility in terms of what you can juice with it. Uh, centrifugals are great for things with high liquid content, things like oranges, tangerines, uh, juicy fresh apples, even carrots do fine in a centrifugal, but things without uh, quite so much uh, juice content, like leafy greens especially, spinach, things like that, that's not gonna really go. Uh, I've tried spinach and different types of greens in uh, centrifugal, and you get a little bit of juice and a whole bunch of really, really wet pulp, almost like some wet salad. So these really aren't suitable for things like that. Besides that, um, maybe the biggest disadvantage with the centrifugal is the quality of the juice. That's because it's running so fast 
that there's a lot of oxidation occurring. What that creates is a couple of things. First of all, it creates a whole bunch of foam on the top of your juice. Again, if you look at that video I referenced before, you'll see that. Um, besides the foam, the juice will separate fairly quickly. And you will see like, for example, with carrot juice, a layer of very dark orange on the top and then almost clear water below, same with apples. And the third thing is that high speed causes oxidation which means the juice will kind of start turning brown fairly quickly compared to a slow juicer, uh, especially with things that would naturally oxidize like apples when you slice them when exposed to air. So the way to get around that, two ways. First of all, consume the juice right away if you have a centrifugal juicer, or if you want to store it for a little bit, add a little bit of lemon or lime. The ascorbic acid will really slow down that oxidation process and keep the juice a little better quality. So overall, centrifugal juicer, it, it's a good entry-level juicer if you're willing to drink the juice right away and as long as you're sticking with juicy products. Next up is the horizontal single auger slow juicer. In this case, it's represented by Asana 727 Supreme. And how this juicer works and all the other slow juicers, they work kind of similarly. And you'll notice they have a lot of similar uh, advantages as well. But how it works is produce is fed through the feeding tube and it goes here and there is an auger. Think of a rotating screw right here. Uh, imagine if you had a big piece of metal and you're drilling a screw in, but somehow you stuck in pieces of apple or oranges and that screw is pushing it down harder and harder. That's what's happening here. It's traveling horizontally. This auger has larger fins at the end to slice off pieces of carrot, apple, whatever you're juicing. And the, the fins get smaller and smaller. And what happens is it goes into this screen here. And as it goes into this screen, it crushes it and squeezes it under high pressure. And then the juice comes out through this little screen at the end. And the pulp just continues straight out through this pulp ejector. So they're pretty simple machines. They're one of the first uh, slow juicer types um, and they tend to be simple and durable. Advantages overall of a horizontal single auger slow juicer, well, there's quite a few. First of all, the juice quality, which will be similar for all slow juicers, is very good because you're juicing at such a low speed. Typically, a horizontal juicer runs around 70 RPM. The Sana 727 has a variable motor that can go from 40 to 120, but this really prevents any oxidation. One big advantage of horizontal juicers is they're very versatile. Almost all horizontal juicers come with something called a blank screen, and that's just like that juicing screen there, only without the screen part. It basically just allows things to be crushed and uh, ejected out here, almost like a slow food processor. And that's used for doing things like um, nut butters, sorbets, pasta, almond milk, depending on the juicer, they'll have different attachments, but it gives it that versatile food processor function. Some other advantages, the horizontals are, we find to be the best for leafy greens. They process uh, spinach, things like that, probably the best, although all slow juicers will do a pretty decent job with it. Uh, beyond that, they are the easiest to clean of all the juicer types. That's because it has that very small uh, juicing screen. So brushing that is pretty fast. And they're also simple to assemble and disassemble, the simplest juicers out there. They also tend to be very durable because they're so simple, really. And in terms of negatives, well, there's not so many. Uh, compared to some of the other juicer types, the yield will be slightly lower with a horizontal compared to a vertical or a twin gear. Although in the case of this guy, the Sauna 727, it's got some extra bells and whistles and we find the yield is about the same. But generally speaking, horizontal has a little lower yield. They also don't do quite as well on softer fruits, things like softer pineapple, berries, things like that, something a vertical will do better on. But overall, that's how they work. Horizontal is a good juicer if you want something that's durable, something that's versatile especially, and if you juice a lot of hard root vegetables, they're really good at that as well. That is the horizontal single auger juicer.
Maybe the most common slow juicer you'd see in shops now is the vertical single auger slow juicer. This one here is a Sauna 828 slow juicer. And these work similar to how that horizontal juicer works, only as the name implies, things are fed vertically instead of horizontally. And the auger and the screen look quite a bit different. Let me show them to you here. It's much shorter, but much bigger. And what we have here is this big auger and notice it has two blades. This runs really slowly, about 43 RPM, but with each turn, it takes two bites because it has these two blades. And say for example, uh, uh, an apple is sliced in here. It will take little pieces and it basically is just screwing it in, drilling it down into this screen here. And notice the screen gets smaller as it gets near the bottom. So that's increasing the pressure. So those little pieces are getting cut smaller and smaller and being forced under high pressure, low pressure on the top here, high pressure at the bottom uh, into juice. Juice comes out through the screen. The pulp is ejected, in this case, through this pulp uh, ejection chute here. So they're versatile machines, but not so versatile as a horizontal juicer, <clears throat> but they most of them have this juice tap here, which does increase the versatility in allowing you to mix things like on almond milk or different juices. That's one of the benefits here is it's easy to mix juices and it's really easy to make nut milk in something like this. Another advantage is it does tend to have a higher yield than horizontal juicers for the most part. And the juice quality, as with all slow juicers, is really good, really uh, high quality. They're one of the easiest juicers to use and almost self-feeding depending on what you're putting in there because the gravity is pulling things down into here. Sometimes you'll need to use the pusher, but not all the time. In terms of negatives, well, it's not as versatile as the horizontal or even the twin gear juicer because most verticals are not available with that blank homogenizing screen. Some of them have a sorbet screen where you can put in uh, frozen fruit to make sorbet and there are a couple of models that do allow you to make nut butter, but for the most part, this is a specialist juicing machine. It does it really well, and that's what it focuses on. Another drawback is you do need to um, prep your ingredients, cut them more, especially things like celery or pineapple that have long fibers, because this pulp outlet does tend to get plugged by those fibers. That's why if you're juicing celery, it's recommended to chop the celery into little pieces, something you don't have to do in the other types of juicers. And one other thing to keep in mind is the motors do tend to jam with hard root vegetables, beets and carrots, things like that. So you'll want to, again, slice those and feed them slowly, something uh, that won't happen in a horizontal. Those won't jam with hard root vegetables. But if you're looking for a juicer that gives high yield, good quality juice, you don't care about those other homogenizing functions, and you just want something pretty easy, this is a very good choice, the single auger vertical juicer. And the final juicer type is the twin gear juicer. And this is represented here by the angel juicer. This is really a niche product, um, not nearly so common as the uh, single auger slow juicers. And there's just a few manufacturers, Angel and uh, Tribest makes the Green Star Elite, Green Star Elite Pro. There's also a small uh, compact versions of twin gears from uh, Vidya and Omega as well. So twin gear juicers operate a little differently than those single gear juicers. I want to show you why. Uh, if you take a look here, you have these two counter rotating augers. And what this means is produce is fed through this tube and you have to push pretty hard with a lot of things because the tolerances here are really fine, almost microscopic. They're so close together. But what that means is that the produce will be cut and crushed in the smallest possible pieces. And then what happens is those tiny little pieces are fed down these fully stainless steel augers in the case of the angel and down through this uh, juicing chamber, which you see is getting smaller as with the other juicers, increasing pressure and making the juice come out. You'll notice the juicing screen here is very big, very long, that has its pluses and minuses as well. 
So speaking of pluses and minuses, the biggest plus of the twin gear juicers is the yield. Twin gears will get a lot more yield than any other type of juicer. That's because of those counter-rotating augers. They're crushing it so fine and because that juicing screen is so big as well. Typically in our test, we'll see anywhere from 20 to 30% more depending on the type of produce juice yield compared to a single auger. Um, the other benefit of this would be uh, a really low amount of pulp, really high juice quality. And in the case of something like the Angel, this is the only one on the market at this point that is all stainless steel. Some people want to completely avoid plastics. The Green Star is mostly stainless steel as well, uses a stainless steel augers. So that's something that some people really prefer to have. In terms of negatives, well, the biggest would be the price. You know, something like this will cost as much as two or three of the other slow juicers. Uh, an Angel will run anywhere from 1,200 euros up to 1,500 euros. Green Star Elite's uh, quite a bit less than that, but still much more than other juicers. And the only other disadvantage, uh, cleaning, as you saw with that juicing screen, it's so big here, there's a lot of little corners to clean with a brush. So this is something for the hardcore juicing enthusiast, someone who wants a high yield, doesn't mind giving it the care and love that the specialized machine like this needs to keep it clean to make sure it's operating well. But if you absolutely want the most yield, and in the case of the Angel, you absolutely want no contact with plastic, that is the way to go. And that's a look at the four main juicer types. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I read all of those and I respond to all of those and I appreciate getting those. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I'm Dan with eujuicers.com.